Hi, this is Janet with Try It Like It Created, and today I have an unboxing for you. Um, this was a mystery box that I purchased from um, Create Along, which is a polymer clay company, and this mystery box was full of polymer clay tools. So, um, as I opened it, I saw that I have a copy of uh, Recent Passion for Polymer Magazine. This was volume 33. Um, I'm guessing it's, oh no, it was published in December 2021, so it's a little bit dated. Um, so I got that and I'm excited to look through that. Then there was this envelope, which I will get to, and then all of these items as well. And I must say that everything is packaged really nicely. Um, and a lot of it is labeled as to what it is. So that's, that is helpful in itself. So here um, is um, kind of a cutter for leaf dangle flower. Um, so there's three pieces to that. And then I got some, it looks like little sequin um, inclusion type bits. And this might be a mix from what I am seeing here. So... Um, Let's just open this up and take a quick look to see. Yeah, it's a mix of little gems. And those are great um, for paper crafting too. They don't have to be just for polymer clay. Another cutter shape is this, which is a rounded daisy with a hole. Um, and it can in this little monster bag, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so here is the flower shape. And so you can use them together or individually. So together is layered or as individual pieces. Um, there is this, which is sticky. Um, and I think... If I'm not mistaken, I think this is to go on your dashboard to hold your camera in place. Um, I don't think it's a polymer clay tool, but I have to research this because I'm not familiar with using this with polymer clay. So if anybody knows, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know um, if you know um, what this is used for, if it's used for polymer clay. I'm going to assume it's for your car. This is a gingerbread create along, and it looks like um, it's to make impressions, not necessarily to cut with, but I think it will um, put a pattern into your clip. So let's just open this up. And this is a lasered plexiglass. So there, that's, it looks like it may have been used. So maybe even for liquid polymer clay, that might, um, work for that. I'm not, although I don't think you can bake this acrylic, so that might not be a good thing. I think it's just for stamping. And then I got this cute little, I'm going to say floral type stamp. And then in this, um, actually it's holding a bunch of flat things so they don't get ruined in shipping. But there was quite a lot in here. I was really excited to see what all was in here. So um, these are texture plates. So there's a wave, or it's called abstract wave. And then there is this one that's called over the horizon. And then um, a couple of stencils here. They look like they're all hearts. And let me just... Uh, Take a peek at this and this prop is packaged in heart packaging. So probably was part of the Valentine's box. But there are the three stencils. They're all different. So that's kind of nice. And then um, we have some silk screens, which I'm excited to try. I have stencils, but I've never done, I don't think I've done silk screens. So these are henna lilies. This one is quite beautiful. This is herbal garden. 
Now these can be used on different things. They don't have to just be used on um, polymer clay. You could use it on paper too. This is Conversation Hearts. It must be from a Valentine's box. This one's quite nice. It has, um, it says dots and lines, but it has the four different textures in one. Um, and since you don't really need to mark a huge spot on polymer clay, this is nice to have different patterns. This is Light the Way. And this is Firecracker. And we got a stencil. And I'm not sure, let's see. Groovy Mods is this one. Looks like we've got a little material left on there. So there's that one. And then this one is still in its packaging and it's called Henna Net. And so all of that came in my mystery box. I paid uh, $32 for this mystery box and um, I think it was well worth it. I'm happy with what I got and a, a few things that I've never worked with before and so I am interested in trying those things out.